हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर ज्योति डी गुलवानी एंड वी आर हियर विद द सब्जेक्ट स्टैटिस्टिक्स नाउ एज वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद चैप्टर नंबर टू मेजर्स ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी नाउ इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज मोड मोड दैट इज अगेन इट्स अ एवरेज but this mode is denoted by z we have learned the uh, other averages also which is known as mean and median mid is what the averages of the given value median that is the mid value after uh, just uh, arranging them into the descending order and now we are going with the mode again mode is what mode is a average value which can be defined by arranging data or by finding out the highest value from the given observation mode is a average value which can be defined by the highest value from the given observation again there are two types ungrouped data and grouped data firstly we are moving with the ungrouped data now what is ungrouped data over here ungrouped data that is when number of observations are given to us jahan pe hame number of observation diye rehte hain that is known as our ungrouped data how we can define z over here in ungrouped data to so see here it is written the number of observation which comes maximum times in a series is known as mode which is denoted by z jo number repeatedly bar bar aata hai in the given observation ye jo observation diye hain usme jo number repeat hota hai bar bar that is known as our mode तो लेट एस सी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस अनग्रुप डेटा सी वन क्वेश्चन इज गिवन एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन इसकी कैसे दी रहती है फाइंड आउट मोड फ्रॉम दी फॉलोइंग डेटा तो दिस नंबर आर गिवन फाइव सिक्स सेवन नाइन फाइव टेन सिक्सटीन फाइव थ्री टू फाइव दिस नंबर आर गिवन टू अस नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वन नंबर विच इज रिपीटेड अगेन एंड अगेन एक नंबर जो बार बार रिपीट हुआ है उसको चेक करना है तो सी here we are checking 5 is given once 5 is given twice 5 is given thrice and it is given four time also other numbers are not given repeatedly but this 5 number is given four time so what is our z is going to be our z is going to be 5 the number which is repeated maximum time is considered as our z in the same way another question is also given here nine six three two five six five nine six five four three six two six now see two numbers are given over here repeatedly one is six another is five so we have to count the number which is again given maximum times so firstly we are going with the six one two three four five six is given five times if we go with the five then how many times five is given one two three Now see, six is given five times, while five is given three times only. That means maximum number repeated is what six. Then our z equals to six. Now moving to the next method, that is group data. What is group data? You know very well where observations and frequencies are given to us. That becomes our group data. Now how to calculate group data with the discrete data? to see discrete data that means observation which is against the highest frequency is known as mode jo observation aapka highest frequency ke samne diya hai it is considered as mode to so see we have to check the highest frequency over here this old numbers are given to us ab isme se highest frequency hame find karni hai means the number jo highest hoga wo hame find karna hai to so see check your numbers 321 320 336 427 429 436 428 428 now out of this number we can see very well 436 is given highest 436 is highest among this all values and observation in front of this value is 30 iske samne wala observation kitna diya hai 30 to our z is going to be 30 hamara z kya ho jayega 
थर्टी तो हाइएस्ट नंबर देखना है हाइएस्ट नंबर के सामने वाला जो ऑब्जर्वेशन होगा दैट इज गोइंग टू बी अवर जेड इन द सिमिलर वे ऑन अदर क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो गिवन तो सी चेक योर ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड फ्रिक्वेंसीज आर गिवन तो चेक योर वैल्यू सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन फोर्टीन थर्टीन ट्वेल्व एटीन फिफ्टीन नाइन नाउ आउट ऑफ दिस नंबर वॉट इज द हाइएस्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी हाइएस्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी इज 18 हाइएस्ट नंबर जिसका होगा फ्रिक्वेंसी में इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैट ऑब्जर्वेशन इज 9 तो अवर जेड इज गोइंग टू बी 9 तो ओवर हियर माइंड वेल हाइएस्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी और हाइएस्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी के सामने वाला जो ऑब्जर्वेशन होगा दैट इज गोइंग टू बी कंसिडर्ड एज अवर जेड दिस इज वॉट अबाउट द डिस्क्रिट डेटा नाउ Let us see the continuous data. Continuous data means where classes and frequencies are given to us. Here formula is given: Z equals to L plus F one minus F zero divided by two F one minus F zero minus F two whole multiplied by I. L equals to lower limit of the class. F one equals to highest frequency of the class. F zero equals to above frequency of the class. F two equals to below or under frequency of the class. I equals to class difference. Now let us understand this whole things through one question. Classes and frequencies are given to us. So classes are zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, thirty to forty. Frequencies are thirteen, sixteen, seventeen, and thirteen. Now first work what we have to do while going with this uh, group classification, we have to find out highest frequency first. तो ये सब में से highest जो frequency है वो पहले check कर लेना है. 17 is the highest frequency highest frequency is always denoted as f1 then above frequency of the highest frequency highest frequency ki upar wali frequency is denoted as f0 and the below frequency of the highest frequency is considered as f2 highest frequency f1 above frequency f0 below frequency f2 then हाइएस्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी के सामने वाला जो क्लास होगा दैट क्लास इज गोइंग टू बी कंसीडर्ड एज योर क्लास ये आपका क्लास कंसीडर होगा हाइएस्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी के सामने वाला नाउ लेट अस पुट द वैल्यूज एल इक्वल्स टू लोअर लिमिट ऑफ द क्लास नाउ ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी इज अवर क्लास तो इसमें लोअर लिमिट क्या होगा लोअर लिमिट होगा हमारा ट्वेंटी सो ही ट्वेंटी इज पुटेड प्लस F1, F1 that is highest frequency. So we have put it 17 over here minus F0. So F0 is सो वी हैव पुटेड सेवनटीन ओवर हि माइनस एफ जीरो तो एफ जीरो इज सिक्सटीन अबाव फ्रिक्वेंसी पुटेड सिक्सटीन ओवर हि डिवाइडेड बाय टू इंटू ब्रेकेट सेवनटीन माइनस सिक्सटीन माइनस थर्टीन दैट इज टू एफ वन तो एफ वन हमारा सेवनटीन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू माइनस एफ जीरो दैट इज सिक्सटीन माइनस एफ टू दैट इज थर्टीन ये एफ टू की वैल्यू ले ली होल मल्टीप्लाइड बाई आई आई दैट इज क्लास डिफरेंस ये सबके बीच का जो डिफरेंस है जो इक्वल है दैट इज टेन तो मल्टीप्लाइड बाई दी टेन नाउ एज वी डिड इन द मीडियन फर्स्टली सॉल्व दिस राइट हैंड साइड फर्स्ट ये राइट हैंड साइड पहले पूरा सॉल्व कर लो तो आपको यहाँ पे आंसर मिलेगा टू एंड द टू इज एडेड ओवर हियर इन टू द वैल्यू ट्वेंटी तो फाइनल आंसर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट ट्वेंटी टू तो इन दिस वे ऑल दी क्वेश्चन ऑफ मोड इज कैलकुलेटेड ओवर हियर ऑलवेज फर्स्ट वर्क वॉट यू हैव टू डू एज यू गेट द क्लासेस फाइंड आउट हाइएस्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी विच इज डिनोटेड एज एफ वन above frequency denoted as f0 and below frequency is denoted as f2 highest frequency ke samne wala jo class hoga it is always considered as your class and with the help of this four things you have to calculate this formula now after this certain combined questions are given combined question means what where you have to find out mean median and mode combinedly so when you are going to find out mean median and mode combinedly check your question first ye type se aapko question diya hoga class and frequencies now here in this question classes are given with the frequency as well as with the class so 
हमें यहाँ पे फर्स्टली क्या करना होता है ये शॉर्ट में बता देती हूँ तो फर्स्टली एज यू गेट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन डू द टोटल ऑफ योर फ्रिक्वेंसी फर्स्ट विच इज़ गोइंग टू बी अवर एन देन आफ्टरवर्ड्स फाइंड आउट एक्स x कैसे डिफाइन होता है तो सी दिस जीरो शुड बी पुटेड एज इट इज वन एज इट इज टू एज इट इज थ्री एज इट इज देन वेन सेवन डिवाइडेड बाई टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव सेवन प्लस ट्वेल्व डिवाइडेड बाई टू नाइन पॉइंट फाइव ट्वेल्व प्लस ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाई टू सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी प्लस थर्टी डिवाइडेड बाई टू ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी प्लस फिफ्टी डिवाइडेड बाई टू फोर्टी आफ्टर डिफाइनिंग योर एक्स पुट द फॉर्मूला फर्स्ट ना फॉर्मूला ऑफ मीन इज वॉट That is sigma f i x i divided by n. In last video also I have mentioned that you can use this formula when you are going with the classes. So our next requirement according to this formula is what to prepare next column on f i into x i. That is f multiplied by x. Now you all know very well how to multiply this. So not repeating it again f i into x i. then just do the total of this fi into xi after doing the total put this two values into formula so here we have put it this two values into formula 2128 divided by 240 so our x bar is 8.87 then our next requirement is to find out median median formula you know now very well firstly find out median class and after defining median class you have to put the values into median formula and requirement for median is what to calculate cumulative frequency how you have to calculate cumulative frequency again you know so not repeating just put the values into formula of median and define the value of median then lastly define the value of z now one new formula of z is written over here that is 3m minus 2x bar when you have answer of median and x bar at that time this formula can be used as a shortcut when you have value of median as well as x bar then this formula can be used as a shortcut so see in this question we have both the answers so just putting this answers into formula that is 3 multiplied by 6.25 and 2 multiplied by 8.17 just solve it then you can get your answer of z so in this way other questions are also given in which you have to calculate combinedly mean median and mode so now we are just completing over here our calculation with the mode and with the combined questions of mean median and mode in the next video we will go with the next method so till then stay tuned goodbye